I'm going to start with a smudge of everyone, and then we can smudge our rocket itself, and then she will be ready to head up tomorrow. We have put so much time to you and a lot of love and care. We know that you'll go up with good spirits and you'll say hello to the sky up there and you'll come back down to us and light the path for so many more like you to come. Hi, I'm Nicole Maga. I'm a third year aero astro at MIT and I'm an Oglala Lakota woman. I was always really attached to space as a kid, looking at the night sky and spending a lot of time with my brother, just checking out every meteor shower. The indigenous community of MIT has changed a lot since when I first got here. We didn't even have something like a cultural group. We didn't have Indigenous Peoples Day and we didn't have the student space that we are currently sitting in right now. <laughs> So hello, my name is Alvin Harvey. On my mother's side, I am Dene of the two who came to the water clan. Same thing on my father's side, Dene, the one walks around clan. First Nations Launch is a national competition that brings together university students, indigenous university students. Around this NASA funded competition that is about building a rocket. Me and my friend and collaborator, Alvin Harvey, wanted to start this team because we're both um, Indigenous Aero Astro students. <laughs> Just a little bit. I was really, really excited to be involved in a technical project that celebrated my identity as an Indigenous person. There's a lot of steps between starting your rocket and actually seeing it fly up into the sky. Everything had to be made in-house. We had to turn raw carbon fiber fabric into tubes and cones of our sizes and dimensions. You have your fins, you have your body, you have your nose cone. You have everything cool that's inside of it, which can get very complex. And then you also have your parachute if you wanted to recover your rocket. My name is Peyton. I'm a first year, I'm past McQuaddy. Rocketry is something that I thought was cool, but like I didn't really think I was going to be joining a rocket team. And then I heard there was like an all indigenous like build team starting. I was like, yeah, that's a good like cool way to connect with the community here. That's a one S. It's one It's so cute. I think indigenous engineering is all about relationality and intentionality. The way that we come together as a community is done through our understanding of relationality and being just good relatives. And we come together and we ask ourselves, you know, what does it mean to be indigenous and in doing this type of work too? At first, I thought the hardest part was getting the body tubes off the mandrels. You want to like slide it off, but it's just so like friction and like suctioned on there. I thought that was the hardest part. Once we had figured it out, it was fine. The next hardest part was definitely the nose cone. The nose cone was the worst part of the rocket and I never want to do that again, honestly. The nose cone is like a really unique shape. It's not quite, it's not actually a perfect cone. And because of that, creating mold and forming fabric to the mold is like, pretty difficult. That was a disaster, honestly. We ended up using uh, latex sleeves, I'll call them, to actually wrap over the nose cone themselves. What are these latex sleeves? Condoms. We <laughs> use condoms on the nose cone rocket. You're kind of like, we're building a rocket, it's like serious business, but like a lot of time, like, oh, it's fine actually, like, <laughs> it'll fly. Like, for example, our fins, we have three of them. So they're supposed to be, you know, 120 degrees between each of them. But they ended up being, it was like 130, 115, and 115. <laughs> and we were like, hmm, this is really bad. Like, should we redo it? And then we were kind of like, nah, it'll be fine. All right, give me up. <laughs> I would love for the rocket to go up and perform exactly how we predicted, but as we know in engineering, that's not always the case. I feel like failure is a necessary part and it may or may not happen this weekend.
It was 1 a.m. before we got to the hotel, thanks to the long drive from Chicago. The number of really high quality rockets coming out of this competition is nuts. It's a really cool experience, but like, it's also very intimidating at the same time. We spent a lot of time in the hotel room debugging our altimeter, which was not working, and we did not get to sleep until maybe 3 to get ready for 6 a.m. You need to seal that hole off. I didn't know that. It looks like nobody knows that. Oh, yeah. With all of this, all the work we spent, all the nose cone, all that, we're not going to know if it goes or doesn't go until tomorrow. I'm feeling cold and a little stressed, but <laughs> uh, we have a couple things left to do before we can do our safety check. And the rain is coming in at like an hour and a half from now. Those clouds on the horizon are looking ominous and we really want to launch before then. They are doing so well, especially for their first time doing this ever. Oh my god. My first time ever was an epic fail, so... Let's go together? Yeah. We're looking good. All of our checks went good. We went through the whole safety checklist and... Yeah, this should be exciting. Taking a journey to the stars and the sky is a very indigenous concept and it's something that's very close to us and all of our stories to visit Father Sky in that way and go with respect and try to find out new things and carry with it our hopes and send our good wishes. And I think indigenous people are drawn to aerospace for that fact. I think Western rocketry is very hesitant to commit to the heart of what we're doing. People are very hesitant to do anything besides talk about the economic qualities of aerospace. To me, indigenous methodology and indigenous aerospace engineering is pushing away from that and having the bravery to say aerospace is something that is for like our minds, is for our inspiration, it is just for the wonder of it all. And that alone is enough. You push this, we have continuity, she's ready to go! Oh my god, my fingers. <laughs> Second thoughts about sticking, but so should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I fell out. She's all ready to go. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> It fucking works! Hell yeah! That's fucking phenomenal. Yo! Alrighty. That was literally perfect. A little high. We went a little high. Okay, it was 4,236 feet. Okay. We went a little high. We went a little high. Turn off the key. Turn off.